All right, guys, we're going to do a very simple present value of investment calculation. Um, in this example, um, I want to show you guys how to use um, the proper keys. And as a result, I kind of wrote down the, the keystrokes so that you can see that as well. But if a client uh, wants to calculate a present value of investment, and let's say they start out, you know, year one, they're gonna get $250 dividend. The second year, they won't get anything. Third year, they get 300. The fourth year, they invest $2,000 into this you know, portfolio. Uh, fifth year, they get no dividend. And sixth year, they sell um, for $25,000. Now, let's say they also have 10% of rate of return requirements. And so we wanna calculate the net present value of this to see if it meets the 10% um, requirement for the rate of return. So let's get started. So to do this, first, I always say clear out the registers. Um, starting out, you wanna put zero for CFO because year zero, you're not getting anything or putting anything in. So you put zero, G, CFO. Then, First year, you're going to get $250,000, $250, so 250 CFJ. Second year, zero, zero CFJ. Third year, 300 CFJ. So fourth year, you're investing 2000 more into it. So you're going to do 2000 change sign, CFJ. Um, Year five, zero, CFJ. In year six, you sell it for $25,000, CFJ. And then you have 10% interest requirements per year. So you got 10 interest. And you're gonna solve for net present value, which is this key right here. And your net present value came up in this case positive thirteen thousand one hundred ninety eight dollars and forty nine cents. So, it is a good investment. This is an investment. So if you had ten percent rate of return requirements, you're gonna you're getting probably more than that, uh, significantly more to be honest uh, in this case. But um, based on the cash flow, the investments that you've made, and how much you'll be selling it for, um, that is your net present value um, so if you invest it if you have thirteen thousand there or ten thousand um, dollars let's just say initially and you get that cash flow and you sell it for that anything below thirteen thousand one hundred ninety eight dollars on the present value of your money you're going to come over ten percent rate of return which means it's a good thing hope this is helpful